everybody, it is your Muffin King and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today, we are going to be playing a indie game. This game is called Armatum Showdown Demo Final. Um, this game was brought to my attention by one of you in the comment section. I will now show that comment right here. Thank you to that person. Sorry if I don't say your name because I could not pronounce it, so... But I... But I did read what you said, and I thought to myself, hmm, this could be a very interesting game. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a look at. Now, this game was made by J5 The Hyperforce. He has a channel called, um, Matum, the, uh, Armatum Channel. I hope I'm saying the name right, Armatum. <laughs> um, but yeah, he has his own channel, so I will leave a link to his channel and his other channel in the descriptions if you guys want to go check that out. I will also be leaving um, a link to this game if you guys are interested in this gameplay. I will leave a link in the descriptions down below so you can play this game yourself. As I said, this will just be a one-off thing where I'm going to uh, go through it for a bit, play it a little bit, and give you my thoughts. So, without further ado, let's jump into this. Let's read first. The following visual novel you are about to play is a meta build and thus is complete and may be very buggy and glitchy. I fixed all the errors I caught, everything is subject to change, including visual novel scenes, stories, building, spelling and grammar, gameplay dynamics, art, music, sound, and everything really. It might change and can change, the entire game is controlled by a keyboard. You got arrow keys, space bars, Z, XC, enter, however, there is controller support. Really? <clears throat> you know, I would I would love to use my controller right now, but I don't feel like hooking it up, so we'll just go with the uh with the bar. But that isn't that is a plus. That is a, that's controller support, so that's pretty cool. So let's jump into this. Here we go. This is the demo final for the novel containing all the prologue, chapter one, chapter two. Uh, hopefully, that should be content enough for you to view. Well, let's check it out. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we are. Liking the music. Bobbing my head up down to the music. I'm just letting it play because I kind of like it. Okay. It gives me a, a crazy... It gives me a crazy four kids kind of vibe, I swear. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, play through the adventures of Aramatum Showdown. Why not? New story! Difficulty. Uh, dynamic. Uh, medium, hard. Uh, this could be dynamic. Yeah, I think dynamic would be good. Actually, let me take a look. We got easy mode. We got aluminum mode. We got, uh... Huh. Mm. On off scaling, difficulty scaling on. Uh, let's do that. Let's go with that. Planet Earth. A planet with many secrets within its history. People may not know what the future holds for us. But do we really know what the past holds as well? We may know a lot about our Earth's past, but we don't exactly know. But we don't know every. Yeah, God, I can't. I cannot read today. But we don't know exactly where every single story happened. That happened. They even say there's a lost past to the Earth our stories take place in. Within this story, three comets show up orbiting the Earth every year for a day before they fly off back to the 
infinite span of space. These comments are related to the lost past mentioned earlier. The comments of sky, ocean, and land. These comments are also related to the new worldwide sensation sport of Armatium. Armatiums revolutionized the way people saw magic with its aura encoded technology system. Magic and tech working together to give a video game styled sport to the masses. According to the rumors, there are a lot there are some relics inside the comet that date back to the time beyond known history. These relics also inspired our Matium Sports relics from the pa lost past. Just any moment now they will show. This boy is watching the sky waiting for today's event to transpire. And there are bright in the sky. And there they are, bright in the sky, sorry. And there they are, bright in the sky. Three dazzling comets made out of crystals race through the sky like a sharp scissors slicing through paper. The fourth ripe color marked the sky. It crashed through the comet first. It crashed through that first comet. That front comet got knocked off course and raced down towards the planet. It's getting closer and closer, it seemed like. It's going to land to the school fields. It's going to land to the school fields. The students, the students started running away from what they assumed would be an impact point. The white light from the heavens started racing down to the earth, aiming towards the runaway comet. The boy is running, hoping he would, he's out of the way, seeing the comet and light falling. He started worrying. The comet and lights getting started to get closer at such a quick rate. Before the boy could get out, could get out the way, the crystal strikes him in the back. Oof. Uh, the rush of power is so in uh, intense. I'm, I'm assuming. Um, it's so intense. The boy's body started shaking, pained as it took on the crystal's power like electricity through metal. The boy the boy looked back to see a winged ghost holding on to the comet. He looked worried like he was trying to stop the crystal in case um trying to stop the crystal in case sword, but it was too slow but was too slow to do so. When everything went white Where where am I? Nova Star Rise. <laughs> How do you know my name? We are inside your mind's subcon subconscious, I think. Uh, inside my mind? Am I unconscious or something? Step forward. Nova looks forward. He saw something familiar. The crystal comet that collided with him. Uh, excuse me. Break the crystal open. You must. Nova looks down at his arm gate gear that is attached onto his belt. Yes, use the weapon. And this will f and free this weird sword. Free us by freeing Arctis Blizzard. Okay, I guess we're finally getting into this. The long intro. Please give me a tutorial. Let's get to the action. Uh, uh, fine. Go to the intro. Mm. Okay, that one failed. When I tried doing that, it gave it's giving me a fatal error in action one or draw event battle. Okay, that is that is weird. All right, I'll abort that then. Okay, so the game kind of um broke down on me when I tried the tutorial part. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> uh, I'll have to cut it here then, though. I only I only promise I give ten minutes to devote it to it.
Um, that was it. It was getting a little. It was getting interesting. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. But yeah, that was interesting. I didn't really get to do much. Um, the I was interested in the story. Didn't really get to do much of the gameplay. Maybe I'll give this another try some other time. But yeah, it kind of just crashed on me. <laughs> it, it it gave me a fatal error when I tried to go through the tutorial. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, if you want to try this game out yourself and uh, maybe don't go through the uh, tutorial, maybe it was something on my part that I didn't add in when starting this game up. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, go check it out. Links are in the descriptions down below and uh, give me your thoughts if you've played it or not. So yeah, see you later, guys. Take care and I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Yeah.